In today's video, we're going to be talking about the five stages of tooth decay. So you may have heard of the term cavities or tooth decay. It basically means that there are these holes which develop in the teeth. Sometimes they can be painful. When it progresses to the later stages, they can be very painful. So the goal of today's video is to help you understand what, what they are, how it occurs, and some treatment options. So bear in mind, you have teeth in the mouth, but you can see the surface of the teeth, but there's actually a few layers which are underneath. The teeth are embedded into the bone and they have this outer enamel layer. Underneath the enamel layer, there is this material which is known as dentin, which has a similar structure to bone. And then underneath the dentin, there is the pulp, which is the region in the tooth where the nerves and blood vessels are. So decay in the mouth, it initially starts with a process called demineralization. So what happens is this outer enamel layer starts to lose its minerals. Now enamel is a very hard substance. It's the hardest material in the human body. It's known as enamel and this is what's on the outer layer of the teeth. Enamel can start to weaken if it starts to lose its minerals and the way that the teeth can lose their minerals is if, for example, you have a high sugar diet and if you have poor oral hygiene, basically the bacteria in the mouth will start to break down all this sugar that you're eating, the main bacteria being Streptococcus mutans. It will break down the sugar that you're eating in your diet and the byproduct which is released is acid. So this acid will cause the enamel to lose the minerals and you get this process called demineralization. Now that's the first stage of tooth decay. Over time, this, these patches of demineralization in the teeth, uh, they start to get bigger. You get these small holes which start to develop. And this is because, and this is because that area of the tooth gets weaker and it gets invaded by bacteria. Now this could be the stage where you may start to get sensitivity in your teeth. For example, if you have something cold, uh, you could get some kind of pain which is present and that's because bacteria is in the tooth it's a little bit closer to the nerve now and you may start getting pain from from cold things now it's possible for this cavity to get bigger and that's because food is going to trap inside more bacteria is going to trap inside and often it's very difficult to clean inside these cavities so as more bacteria get inside and if you are persistently eating high sugar foods, there's more acid which is going to be released and the overall effect is that the hole gets bigger because all of this tooth structure starts breaking down and it will progress from the outer layer called the enamel and it will progress deeper within the tooth into the dentin which is the second layer and eventually it can reach the pulp and this is the area where the nerve is. When decay reaches the pulp, it can be very painful and this is typical for toothache where people have a lot of pain in the tooth and it's because the bacteria and the decay has reached either very close to the nerve or in the nerve area. Now the treatment at this stage is often a root canal to remove the nerve of the tooth and do some kind of root filling. The stages before where the decay is just in the enamel or the dentin Often you can get away with some kind of filling on the tooth, but if the decay reaches the pulp chamber, that's when a root canal is often needed. Or you could have the tooth removed if you wanted to, but the most common procedure which is done is called a root canal. Now sometimes people opt to leave dental treatment and they don't do anything even if the decay is in the nerve of the tooth. So if a person's had a toothache for a long time and they've ignored it, they've used painkillers for a long time, um, they're not really treating the problem by just using painkillers. So sometimes what we can see happen is the bacteria, it spreads all around in the pulp chamber and you have these root canals which are present, which is where the nerve passes through from the bone area into the pulp chamber. So bacteria will invade all these areas here and the bacteria will go down towards the root tips and it will start to break down the bone which is at the root tip. So bacteria is present inside the tooth and now it's moving kind of outside of the tooth in the root tip. So this is the kind of last stage that we're going to talk about and this is often where people get really big infections where their face swells up. It's basically something which is called an abscess. So this is the final stage really where abscesses develop because bacteria has gone from the outside, from the outer layers of the teeth in the enamel 
through the dentin, through the pulp, and now it's in the apical area, which is what we refer to as the kind of root tip area. So bacteria reach this area and that's when severe pain, swellings can, can develop. The treatment again at this stage can also still be a root canal or it could also be to have the tooth removed. Kind of depends on how much tooth structure is left here because if the tooth is quite broken down, often just removing the tooth is probably the better option. But if there's enough tooth there, then there may be an opportunity to save the tooth, but it entirely depends on a dentist's opinion. So yeah, so just to quickly summarize the stages of tooth decay, you have the first stage where the enamel of the teeth start to demineralize in patches and then a cavity starts to develop into the enamel and at this stage sensitivity may start to occur. You could have a filling at this stage to resolve the issue. The cavity will kind of progress into the dentin. Again, a filling could be done here to help resolve the issue. From here, the bacteria may progress into the pulp chamber. This is often when severe pain can start to develop. So the treatment at this stage would be either a root canal or just removing the tooth. And then following on from this, you have bacteria kind of infiltrating the entire pulp chamber and root canal system and migrating to the outside of the root tips where it starts to break down and cause an infection within the bone area. So that would be the final stage. And to summarize the treatment at that stage, the final stage would, would either be some kind of root canal again, or it would be removal of the tooth.